Welcome back to Quick Rundowns. Today, we've got some juicy updates from the boxing world, including Oscar De La Hoya's thoughts on the WBC, Shakur Stevenson, and the rumors about Saudi Arabia taking over boxing. We'll dive deep into the latest controversies and predictions that have the boxing community buzzing. You won't want to miss this one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all the latest news and analysis. Hey, what's up, Clapback Thursdays? Let's start with the WBC and ordering Shakur Stevenson versus William Cepeda. Ordering? What does that mean? They ordered Canelo Benavides like three years ago, and that hasn't happened. William will make his decision very soon, and he has three other options. Oscar De La Hoya recently addressed the WBC's decision to order a fight between Shakur Stevenson and William Zapata. Ordering? What does that mean De La Hoya quipped? They ordered Canelo VS, Benavidez like three years ago, and that hasn't happened. De La Hoya continued William will make his decision very soon and he has three other options. Shakur Stevenson, you're a free agent, you're a great fighter, great talent, but not for me. I believe that when somebody says you're not fighting for the public, I cannot promote. Shakur Stevenson, you're a free agent, a great fighter, great talent, but not for me. I believe that when somebody says you're not fighting for the public, I cannot promote. Now, there's a lot of rumors going on that the Saudis are going to take over boxing and buy out every single promoter. Well, guess what? I haven't been approached, so don't believe everything you read. Rumors about Saudi Arabia. De La Hoya also touched on the swirling rumors about Saudi Arabia planning to take over boxing and buy out every single promoter. Well, guess what? I haven't been approached, so don't believe everything you read, he said, addressing the speculation head on. The rumors have been rampant, with many speculating that Saudi Arabia's involvement could drastically change the landscape of professional boxing. Interview with Shocker Stevenson. What you think of the promotion and the crowd and the energy here? I, I love it. Big, big meeting for you next week. Ready. You said what? You gonna talk like I said? I love the energy. I met you. Sounds good. Given tonight's performance. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, answering that question. I love my big brother, but I think he's a hell of a fighter. I think Boots is the future of boxing. And uh, two hell of a fighters. You see the rumors muted at 147? Huh? You think you'll be undisputed at 147? Yeah, yeah, Interviewer, what do you think of the promotion and the crowd and the energy here? Shakur Stevenson, I'm not answering that question. I love my big brother, BL. I think he's a hell of a fighter in the future of boxing. Two hell of a fighters. Interviewer, do you see him being undisputed at 147? Shakur Stevenson, I actually didn't meet with him, but my representatives did. What do you think is the likelihood of you fighting him next? Uh, I actually didn't meet with him, but my representatives met with him. Stevenson responded confidently, I think it didn't happen, but I think Oscar is still willing to make the fight. I think that's the best fight out there to make right now. What you think is the better? What do you think is the better? Zepeda, hell of a fighter. One to ten, what are the likelihood of you fight Zepeda next? I think it can happen. I think that uh, Oscar should be willing to make the fight. I think that's the best fight out there to make right now. Um, it all comes down to Oscar Del Hoyo. It all comes down to a deal. Shakur Stevenson on future fights. Shakur Stevenson also expressed his readiness for future bouts. Honestly, I'm ready right now. I'm ready as soon as we can make it happen, but like I said, if he doesn't take the fight, I will fight the next available option. So Shakur versus Zapata on the zone 2024? Online reactions and analysis. The internet has been ablaze with reactions to these developments. Fans and analysts have been sharing their thoughts on social media platforms, with many eagerly anticipating the potential Stevenson vs. Zepeda fight. Some believe this could be a career-defining match for Stevenson, while others argue that Zepeda might pose a tougher challenge than expected. Prominent boxing analysts have weighed in with some criticizing the WBC's decision-making process and others praising Stevenson for his willingness to take on all comers. The debate over whether Saudi Arabia's potential involvement in boxing will be beneficial or detrimental continues to rage on forums and discussion boards. Promoter Perspectives Other promoters have also chimed in on these topics. Eddie Hearn, for instance, has expressed skepticism about the WBC's orders, citing past inconsistencies. Meanwhile, Bob Arum has shared his thoughts on the Saudi rumors, suggesting that while the money might be enticing, the logistics and control issues could be significant obstacles. Fan Opinions fan opinions are divided. On one hand, there's excitement about the high-profile matches being discussed. On the other, there's concern about the integrity of the sport with potential buyouts and the shifting power dynamics in boxing promotions. 
The passionate boxing fan base has not held back, voicing their views through various platforms, from YouTube comments to Reddit threads, the possible outcomes and predictions. Looking ahead, several outcomes seem possible. If Stevenson and Zepeda agree to the fight, it could set the stage for one of the most anticipated matches of the year. Should Saudi Arabia indeed take a more significant role in boxing, we might see a shift towards more high-profile, lucrative bouts, potentially changing how promotions operate. There you have it. Some exciting updates and candid thoughts from Oscar De La Hoya and Shakur Stevenson, plus a look at the wider boxing world's reactions. What do you think about these developments? Will Shakur Stevenson and William Zepeda face off, and how will the rumors about Saudi Arabia's involvement unfold? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick rundowns and other exciting boxing updates. Stay tuned for the latest news and analysis in the world of boxing. See you in the next one. Oh.